but salad. <laughs> I see. Everybody's like, what are you talking about? Think about Progressive Field, uh, Guardians games, and it's hot, and I don't want to eat heavy food. It's the same way with the first energy stadium at the beginning of the season. Okay. It's, it's, I just don't want heavy food. How are you going to eat a salad while you're watching a football game? Like, like this. <laughs> like, I can't eat anything else. Matt, I'm with you. And that's a big buzzer for me. <laughs> you know what I want? Uh, because, because they never let you down? Tacos. Tacos I are want street an tacos. excellent choice. Yeah, give me street tacos. Thanks, Matt. Ooh. What about walking tacos? Then? Walking tacos. Listen. In the bag? Like the Frito bags? I've just oh, learned about Frito this pie. whole walking thing. <laughs> this is his newest, his newest I'm passion. I'm blown away <laughs> by, the, by the walking tacos, the walking desserts. Wow. He's so easily amused, isn't he? I'm easily impressed is what it is. <laughs> now I have more questions about that, too. <laughs> I'm your man on that, Jay. All right. Okay. Tell us more okay. about this rain that's coming, because we do have quite a bit. We do have quite a, a, quite a bit, Betsy. We were talking about that as we were putting together the forecast. I mean, it looks nasty out there behind Jay and Betsy right now so we got a mixed bag of tricks that's going to be happening across the area over the next 24 hours so we'll try our best to break it down for you so you can plan out the rest of your your work week here and also head towards the weekend for the rest of the evening our conditions are not as menacing okay we'll have some cloudy skies this is kind of what we're dealing with right now it all comes down to the track of the low where is this low going to be tracking is it going to be farther west is it going to be farther east who's going to get what and also temperatures the surface and mid levels that is going to be very important as well windy conditions will be following in tow so we're going to have a wet and wild friday with some windy conditions and it's just going to be really nasty out there in short Overnight tonight, low 30s expected. So we're going to be cruising around the freezing mark. But lo notice what happens tomorrow. We're going from the low 30s to the mid 30s, eventually moving into the 40s. And you know we cannot produce snow into the 40s. So we just got a lot of rain. You remember this graphic from yesterday? We've kind of nudged things a bit farther east. Now we're talking about the Lone Star State. Eventually we're going to be talking about the Ozarks, and then we move into Ohio River Valley once we get into the early hours for us tomorrow. So this is the area of development that's happening right now. We're pulling in lots of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and also cooling conditions over the north and west. Our path is still taking it just to the north and also a little bit farther to the west of us. But models are still trying to figure out exactly where that low will be tracking, and that is important for us. Snake area boundary right now as we look at the lower 48 right now. Rain showers looming throughout even in southern Missouri at this hour. And there's also some active weather down there as well. A little bit turbulence arriving over overnight tonight into the, tomorrow. So we get through the night here right now. You can see our temperatures again back into the 30s. We go cloudy skies looming throughout through the early hours for us on Friday. I think that morning commute is going to be dry so you can get safely to where you need to go. But notice by 9 10 a.m. Rain showers begin to move back in. We're still on the eastern side of this low, so we're pulling in strong easterly winds. We're lifting our temperatures as well, and this rain will be moderate to heavy at times. Even some low 50s you can see there. Now, this model is showing, look at this, the track of that low taking it just over towards the west of us near the Sandusky region. So it's going to depend on where that is going to be if we're going to get a little bit more rain snow mixing on in rain sleet as well. So once the low passes on through, we got that wraparound flow. We got scattered snow starting for us on Saturday. So that's how we're going to start off our weekend. Notice temperatures rising yet again. Here's that Union Home Mortgage 7 a.m. Look, morning snow chances on Saturday, few clouds on Sunday, back into the upper 50s by Monday and then boom. That's our next system taking us really cold. We got much more coming up after the break, so stay right there.